I'm out in the field where this Iron Dome launcher is currently placed, a launcher that is meant to intercept rockets from Gaza in order to protect the citizens of Israel. But behind this complex system, which has managed to save many Israeli lives, are the soldiers who operate it. Not just the great commanders, but simple soldiers, so young and with so much responsibility on their shoulders. How do you feel about working here at the Iron Dome system? I feel really proud working with this great system. I mean, it's still in development, but you can see its success rate. It's really amazing. It's the first system of uh, intercepting rockets in the world at this uh, height and uh, range. It's really a great pride. You see it from the citizens of, of, all, the, of his, uh, all Israel. They just come, show us their love. They, give us, they come to give us food, to talk with us. People actually come to your military base yeah. and give you food? They actually come here, to this location. We can't let them in. We come to the, the gate and bring us food and gifts and everything. Just, just so show us the love. They talk to us, tell us how much they are proud of us and really support them. Your position is called an Iron Dome fighter. That is a powerful title. How do you feel about that? Well, it, yeah, it sounds really powerful, but in fact, we're just simple guys, just want to protect our country, want the citizens of, Ashke, of the south, of all of Israel, in fact, to feel safe to come out of their homes, even if there's an alarm and rockets are flying from Gaza to here. I want them to feel safe enough to not be afraid of getting killed, to just have safety in their home, like they should be, like every citizen in the world should have. You make the call whether to intercept a rocket that is being launched or not. Yes, that's right. That must bear a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. How does that feel? Well, it is a lot of responsibility. I'm very proud of what I do. It's important to, to stay cool and make the right decisions. There is not, not much time to make those decisions. It makes you older very fast, like in, in a mental, mental way. Uh, that's why uh, 18 and 19 years old, uh, year old uh, boys can uh, take uh, the weapons and uh, charge in front of uh, uh, the enemy or uh, terrorists. How old are you? I'm 19 and a half. You're 19 and a half years old. Don't you feel sometimes that you are way too young to be doing this? Yeah, well, it sounds crazy, I know, but it's something you have in mind since you been a boy, you need to contribute to the country, you need to join the army, and you need to do something for the country. As you know, it's not a peaceful area here in Israel, with all the countries we have around us, so really it's something you grew up with, and it's in your head since you're a child. Just want to join the army and contribute and want to defend, even if you feel sometimes like you're young and you can't do it, you need to get courage and strength and do what you have to. You never feel like, oh my god, I am too young to be making these calls. Not once. Never crossed my mind. The job needs to be done. If I'm the proper uh, soldier, the proper man to, to do the job, uh, I'll do my best and uh, so far we do it uh, very well. And how do your parents feel about your position here at the Iron Dome facility? Well, my, my parents are very proud. My grandfather was a navigator in the Royal Air Force and in the Israeli Air Force. They're really proud. They have, they're speechless really, when I come home. All my family and friends are very supportive and uh, proud of me. Um, it's very important that for uh, almost a decade of uh, Sderot and other uh, cities uh, suffering from the rockets uh, launched from Gaza, that uh, we finally have a solution for them. What do you want to be when you grow up? I haven't said yet. I mean, I want to maybe be an officer. I want to be an officer. I want to leave the army at the age 23, like that, go study, like chemistry or physics or something. And We'll see from there. You know. Do you think that serving in the Israeli military has contributed to who you are, to your character? Well, I'm positive it has helped and it's still helping shaping my character. I have learned many, many values that include partnership, friendship, um, 
leadership, working in a team, everything. Everyone should join the army, it really contributes to your life. It makes you grown up. I mean, I feel much grown up than I was one year ago before I joined the army. I learned to talk in front of a crowd. I will learn to command, I hope. I met people here that maybe will be friends from all, all my life. People from a lot of all parts of Israel. People from different parts, different, different backgrounds, you know. People who are really different than I am, but you, you, you're here with them 24-7, all the day. You really get to know them and love them. I think they'll, they'll be friends from, for all my life, I think. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.